we defeated the ninja. Ow, I fell, because I'm so heavy. Ninja. Because we're evil. And I like to even things out. So, <clears throat> With this infinity gauntlet, I shall spawn in an army from Dimension 1. Spawn in layer. No, my students. Sensei, oh, still alive either. Yeah, but won't that reverse the years on you too? Yes, but anything for my students. I see you became prepared. Where did your sensei go? We don't know. But what we do know is we will defeat you. Are you sure about that? Ah! Stop! <coughs> Stop. What? Who is that? Uh, who are you? I'm Wu. The reverse blade has done damage to myself. Turned me into a teenager. I'm 16 now. That's really sensei? Anyway, wait. <laughs> so much to the point where they just died in an explosion. Oh wow, that's kind of cool, but wait, what happens after this? Ugh. Uh, it... What the? Uh, aren't you supposed to be dead? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they are, but they're not because of me. Anyway, I'm gonna spawn those guys in from Dimension 1. They'll be here to defeat you. I don't know who you, even who you are or where, what? Who even are you? Uh, you will hear, you will learn, and you will know in the near future. Spawning people in from Dimension 1. Let's see, what, what is Dimension 1? Well, it's not really a dimension. Thanos kind of got it wrong. You know who that is? Yeah, I read the comic. Comics. I almost said comments. Um, why are they reacting? Because he can't play two characters. I mean, three. Who's he? I don't know. Anyway. Um, Thanos messed up saying dimension, but it's really a realm. You know how there's 16 realms, right? Yeah, 16 realms. Ninjago is one of them. Yeah. Realm 1 is one of those realms, which I don't know who they are, though, because there's so many dimensions. Maybe it's Chima. I don't know. What is a Chima? I don't know, Lloyd. Quit asking me these questions. Uh, do you see what I see? Yeah. Look at the portal. We were digging for the royal armor, and then we just spawned in here. Skull Crusher, do you have anything to do with this? My name's not Skull Crusher, it's Skull Smasher. Oh, I didn't mean you had a part in this conversation. Well, shut up. Oh, I freaking hate this guy. What was that? I'll have you demoted to slave, and you'll have to do slave work.
Okay, I'll stop. Uh, is anyone gonna say anything that there's just some random people in this land? We're not just random people. We are the dragon hunters. Oh, we're using made up names now? So I'm the rag munchers. I eat rags. Oh, that name's not messed. That name's not made up. You know what? I'm getting tired of this. Ah! Oh, uh, guys, are we gonna say anything about that missile? Oh my god! Ah! We really did a number on them ninja men, whatever they are. Ain't that right, Skull Crusher? I'm not even gonna say it. That's what I thought. Call you whatever I name you. You named me Skull Breaker. Yep, you're about to be demoted. Now here we go. I'm about to go over here. Oh, oh, oh! Look, look at me. Look at me go. I'm about to demote you. Here we go. No, please, please. I'm just messing with you. Something to do to toughen you guys up. You know what I mean? Anyway, oh, let's go digging for that royal armor. Skull breaker, correct. Put down the crane, all right. Uh, Iron Baron, I don't think this crane's gonna reach 50 miles down beneath the earth. I don't care anymore. We'll dig. We'll dig beneath the ocean. Wouldn't that kill us, sir? We can breathe underwater, remember? Oh! Okay. Now let's go. Digging. The ninjas be okay after that powerful hit by a missile? Who is this man and why is he just standing there? And will they get the royal armor? Find out in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z, I mean Ninjago.